it's November 7th, International Stress Awareness Day 2018, and that means we are back. Danielle, how are you? Hello, Tom. Yes, we are. This is our second international online stress summit and i am so excited and pleased to be here the day is finally here so how are you feeling because you've done a lot of work in the last weeks i'm feeling very excited because this theme of does high tech cause high stress is really one very very close to my heart and i'm so pleased that we had so many experts wanting to contribute and share yes. their insights, knowledge, tips and tricks, how to navigate the changes that are coming our way because the world is changing fast and we as human beings, you know, we, we can today already, you know, see what is coming to us and prepare ourselves because it is needed because of the speed, the scope, and the complexity. So I'm really excited that we can contribute at the both of us, because you've interviewed some really interesting experts as well on this theme uh, to help uh, the conversation that people must have about this, um, to, to start it, to, to nourish it. At the same time, Tom, let's just thank technology, because without technology, high technology, we wouldn't be able to do this. The two of us wouldn't even be here. So, and uh, you know, we, I just want to mention, we've got experts from all over the world. I mean, South Africa, Canada, I know you have, you know, uh, people from the US, from different countries all over the world. And I, I'm just so proud of it that um, people, you know, the global feeling here in this summit is really a reality. So um, let's just start by saying who, who will the experts, you know, who are the experts who's lined up for today? Well, uh, first interview that will be shown is the one you've taken from me because we have to, of course, frame a little bit the day. And, you know, I'll be sharing a little bit of insights uh, what an osteopath and body center stress coach has to do with technology. And after yes. that, I'm interviewing you. Uh, yes, you know, because I was very, I was very pleased to, to have a link, you know, in, in my work and the high technology. So it, it is amazing that the two of us are, you know, every, every year, last year, we really found it exciting as well. But this year, it has been amazing for the both of us. And number three, I believe, is the president of ISMA UK. Can you tell us a little bit about Carol? Yes, Carol Spears. Chair of the International Stress Management Association and founder of the uh, International mm -hmm. Stress Awareness Day, who, of course, we have to really um, thank to offer us also this platform of mm -hmm. doing an online stress summit. And um, she has already been busy over the next of the few days with uh, because it's not only a day anymore. Uh, International Stress Awareness Day has been increased to International Stress Awareness Week, which ends mm -hmm. with a conference in London on Friday, where I'll be attending as well. So uh, right. after Carol, uh, you are, have interviewed, I believe, Sean Waters. Yes, Sean Waters is a stress specialist from Johannesburg, South Africa who is actually the founder of the Stressless Clinic and has a lot of knowledge around techno stress. So if you want to hear and see someone who's really in the field, just go you know, and listen because he's really worthwhile. He's a man with a mission as well. And um, after that, I interviewed a really interesting lady from Canada, Deanne Barrett. Now, Deanne is a teen and um parent resilience coach and i wanted to include even in the other interviews i wanted to include a little bit everything about the next generation around high technology and the next generation children teenagers if that causes them and what is going to happen in the future and i think it's really worthwhile for parents 
uh, to go and listen to that interview. Do you agree? I do agree, yes. And indeed, you know, with this online stress summit, it's, it's not only uh, for uh, working people or people in, an, in a category of age. No, we, we really covering from the young, from the young, uh, you know, born, you know, in a, okay. let's say a babies to the um, you know, retired people, the whole spectrum. We are offering something, yes. and she, uh, Diane, all brought something really unique because she's working with parents and with teens, hands-on, who are uh, dealing or have to deal or manage their stress better. So, Diane, it was you, and then I got Matthias de Wilde, which is a, a Belgian uh, yes. expert on uh, on stress and especially also on addiction. He shared also his personal story that he was a game addicted, uh, addicted and how he got out of it and then started really talking in schools around Belgium uh, about game addiction. So a really interesting mm -hmm. interview there as well. If you want to know more about addiction, if, you're, if you're, one of your children is addicted or maybe yourself, and you want to know more about that, how to overcome that or how to deal with that, then um, Matthias de Wilden is the person and the video and the, to watch this lunchtime. Great. And I think afterwards is Dr. Linda Shaw, who is a UK based and she is a specialist. Uh, I mean, even a psychologist, chartered psychologist, but she is specialized, I, you know, I really found her an interesting person as she is specialized in neuroscience and links everything with the brain. So it's a really interesting uh, interview to go and, you know, if you are interested, what exactly happens in the brain. And she gives some amazing practical tips for us. So she is also one of my favorite people uh, today. She really gave, and she, I, I believe she's speaking at a conference as well. So she's worthwhile she listening she to. She Next was, I decided to take on, uh, you know, a business owner, a business owner as well, a business leader, somebody who's in the entrepreneurial world, and you know, I really wanted a, a little bit of a different angle there and see what he had to say about how he experiences high tech and high stress in the entrepreneurial world. And it's clear that, you know, Lee is, is, is a, um, a director of a multi-million uh, pound business in the UK. And it's clear that he has, you know, a totally different, it's a totally different interview worth watching just, just to see how he presents and, and thinks about uh, everything that is going to happen and that is happening in this fast changing world. And I believe and I you are. I think you're totally next. right. I think you were totally, I want to say something about it. I think you were totally right to really uh, get a person like Lee Johnson into the program from, because many uh, companies will uh, need to face the challenges of technology, um, the good and the bad and the ugly, and, you know, and Mm -hmm. how their staff, their employees are going to deal with it. So yes. a very interesting uh, interview indeed. Then I had the pleasure to interview Dr. Heidi Hanna, which is the uh, executive director of uh, our American sister company, the American Institute of Stress. She's a speaker, an author, uh, and a very, very engaging person in the world of stress management. Wonderful interview, and I was really happy that uh, she offered to uh, speak with us for mm -hmm. the, um, the International Stress Awareness Day. I really like her energy, Tom. She's, she's a very inspiring person, and you can see also a lady with a mission, and she's doing a lot to raise awareness in the world awareness around stress. So I'm really glad you, you caught her. You know, it's, it's, it's a really good interview that. Yes, indeed. And she's also uh, offering soon a, a program on using humor mm -hmm. as, uh, you know, as a stress management tool, which is, I'm looking forward to as well. It's um, in November that that will take place as well. So uh, after that, uh, again, you know, by accident uh, found Christian Cromer. Uh, 
a writer. No accident, uh, no coincidence. No, no accident, <laughs> no, no, no. In my search, because I'm always looking for information, I'm always looking for books on the topic, and I found the book called Humanification. And Christian Krummer is the author of that, and he's a Dutch futurist. Again, you know, that personal story mm. is so amazing how he got into this thinking because he was a, you know, a business person, you know, in technology. His daughter was then diagnosed with a genetic default and then he wanted to find a solution. And that's how he merged, you know, this kind of uh, technology basis that he has with uh, biology, because he mm -hmm. he was really interested and wanted to find a solution to help his daughter mm -hmm. live and living she does still. So that story, amazing, um, is also on the stress summit. Then we have I had also the pleasure to interview Baroness Susan Greenfield, which is a authority on the topic of technology and brain development. She has written several books like Tomorrow's People and ID, The Quest for Meaning in the 21st Century. And she really comes from this scientific background and tells her story with us. Amazing person, really wonderful what she does to link, you know, how screens, how our interaction with technology influences the brain. Just a little bit like Dr. Linda Shaw also explains, explains the yes. neurosciences, so does Baroness Susan Greenfield. Great. The ladies are well represented this year. We, you know, we can admit that there's quite a lot of really female experts who really can use their voice you know i i oh I, i'm you know it's normal as a female myself i'm always pleased that it's not it's not a male world anymore you know we are into you know a lot of feminine power is coming up so but let's just not ignore number you know the the the, the, the i think it's almost uh one of the real experts that you can see globally is traveling the world mr Graham Codrington, he's also a South African, but as he told me, he travels a lot. He's on a lot of stages that he's really wanted as a speaker. He's an author of five books. He has the five degrees. He's just also such a wonderful person and an international recognized futurist. Now, I think his interview is full, really, if you do not want to miss this one because it is full of practical, personal stuff, professional tips. There's a lot of mixture there, but a wonderful interview with Mr. Graham. And, and I really appreciated his time because I know how, you know, how busy he is. Most of our experts are really busy. So we really appreciate their time that they give to us. But Graham really, you know, it was, it was a really wonderful experience for me to interview him. So I, I you know, Really it's very authentic, him. very authentic. Uh, also, yes. you know, his personal yes. experience with his daughters yes. and everything. And um, also, also one of Tom, I think, don't you think that we both try to have each interview as authentic as possible? It's not a really official question answer. It's it's like what comes comes, and it's a very authentic. And I really appreciate this year we really managed to make every interview authentic about the person and about the professional behind it so congrats for that and i believe you <laughs> have the last one hey yes i do i have uh, angie during angie during is the director of psychology of a company in silicon valley called x2 ai and they've developed the mental health chatbot tests now, I was blown away during that interview with what test, which is 20% uh, artificial intelligence, 80% scripted can do. And the great part of that is, and it will be revealed during the interview, she's giving a freebie away um, during her interview. So it's something really to watch out for, but a mental health chatbot. 
So basically, wow. it's like you as like SMSing of or messaging uh, with a computer to help you with certain elements of your life, but wow. just as an accompaniment between uh, therapy sessions with your counselor, with your psychologist, or with your coach. So we I think it's nice to end that way, Tom, because it's the last interview is actually giving us a real preview of what is possible and what is coming. So, you know, technology is also helping us. Although in all the interviews, we talk a lot about the link between stress and technology. I think the last interview just shows also that there's a lot coming that can help us in technology. So wonderful. Indeed, because we may not forget, as you said in the beginning as well, we're not criticizing technology. Mm -hmm. you know, we, we want to create a dialogue and show what is possible, how it would influence us, but in, from both sides. You know, there are yes. technology, as you said before, we have an amazing capacity mm -hmm. to do what we've done for this online su summit through mm -hmm. using the internet. Every person we met we didn't meet in person we met it through technology um yes. so when we when you are watching us you know it's through technology and that is something really precious but how is this going to influence and what are the things that we may not forget because True. once one part is developing we may not forget our own personal development we may not forget that we also need to evolve and navigate these changes and that is something that you will see and understand during the many interviews that we've had and we will be sharing some of the things you can do today not only for stress management because stress is you know okay it's a topic it's very um, you know it, it, it is all comprising because of our the way we are our body is made up but at the end of the day, the tips and the tricks that we're giving and the, the conversations that we're having is, is just a general to become better at being human in yeah. a fast-changing world. I agree. And I think we can talk about it later tonight, uh, Tom, when all the interviews have been shown and when we wrap it up with just you know a, a little bit of a summary. Because I do indeed believe that if, if we learned one thing out of this summit this year with this theme, it is about being human is more and more important. So uh, are you looking forward to tonight just to wrap it up and just, you know, finish this amazing, you know, we've done so much prep and here it is. So I'm actually really excited and I hope the audience is, is happy and and we'll, we'll, we'll really enjoy what we br bring for them today. Yes, and please help us share uh, the videos or the, you know, the insights that you've had on the social media platforms. Uh, use the hashtag NSAT or hashtag INSAT 2018 or hashtag Online Stress Summit. Please, please, please help us share because sharing is caring and this information needs to go out there so many more people can have the conversation uh, yes. after today. Because it's not only today, it's an ongoing story that yes. we are preparing. So, Danielle, are you ready? Um, I can't wait. I will see okay. you later tonight after all this. Indeed. So, let's go into the see first you later. interview. Enjoy, see you later. everybody. Bye-bye. Enjoy. Yes, bye.